Thank you, Jeremy Hunt, for your call out last week, saying that people over the age of 50 just need to get back into the world of work. I mean, I, I can speak for, you know, the 6,000 odd people who've filled out our research and the 200 odd people that we've helped support into jobs, that they are far too busy playing golf. I myself, I drink a huge amount of tea and coffee and I sit around all day doing yoga with my friends. And that's that's been the problem, right? That's why we haven't gone back into work. It's got nothing to do with the fact that companies don't really think strategically about the needs of a 50 plus audience because the needs are not the same as when we were in our 20s and 30s. Maybe now that we're a bit older and wiser and actually we're driven by things that are more than money. Maybe we care a lot more about what it is that we're applying for, but maybe jobs boards are a bit uninformative, right? Even the ones that are targeted to people over the age of 50, they're not very helpful in terms of helping me search all the sorts of criteria that what, what I want. You know, I want things that are gonna give me a sense of purpose. I want things that are gonna offer me some flexibility. Good luck finding job boards that will serve your needs on that. Good luck finding companies that won't age discriminate because most of them do. Um, good luck finding companies that have age targeted cohorts targeting directly people in their 50s, 60s, come in, we will train you what you need to know, because actually we recognise you've got a lot of transferable skills. I mean, FTSE 250, there's graduate schemes coming out of your ears. There are no age targeted entry point schemes. So maybe it's not all about the golf and the coffee. Maybe it's that companies could be a bit more strategic. And I tell you what, the question I get asked the most is, what's everyone else doing? And the truth is, not everyone is doing an awful lot. And maybe as the government who have public funds, maybe actually if companies are a bit scared to take the lead on this, because this sort of stuff is potentially expensive, it's potentially legal, it's potentially a bit icky, maybe actually the people who could take the lead here could be the government themselves. And that would be nice. I mean, I know we've knocked on the door of DWP quite a few times, never had an awful lot of interaction or interest back, which is a shame because as a nonprofit, actually our driver is about impact and about making a difference. So. I will, this is an open call out. If you want to actually be serious about this, then work with us on a couple of research projects and we will not charge you a penny. All we want is your guarantee and your promise that what you learn, you will freely share with as many people as possible.